Hi guys, it's Dr. Kelly Lip here for another Tooth Talks Tuesday, and my friend Emmy, who's five years old, has another question for us. Dr. Kelly, when am I going to lose my first tooth? The answer is, it really varies. The average is around ages six or seven years old, but for some it can be as early as four, and for some it can be as late as eight. And all of those age ranges are considered pretty normal. What tooth will you lose first? Typically, it's those bottom two front teeth that will fall out first. However, some children lose their top two front teeth first, especially if they've been bumped or traumatized in the past. When will you know that your first baby tooth is about to fall out? The obvious answer is when that tooth starts to get wiggly. Most children will first notice this when biting into a hard food, such as an apple, and they'll go up to their parent, point to the area, and say that it feels sore. There are a few things you should know about those bottom teeth when they start to come in. The first is that it's completely normal for those permanent teeth to come in behind the baby teeth. When you look in your child's mouth, you might actually see two rows or two layers of teeth. We often affectionately call that shark teeth. That's totally okay as long as the baby tooth in front is wiggly and showing signs that it's going to fall out soon. If that baby tooth in front is not getting wiggly and it's been several weeks, you might want to schedule an appointment with our office so we can look at it and make sure it's going to fall out on its own. The other thing you should know is that in comparison to permanent teeth, baby teeth are very white. So when you see your child's permanent tooth come in and notice that it's more yellow, it's not because it's discolored, it's just because it looks more yellow in comparison to the baby tooth. And lastly, I have a few tips for you to help wiggle out that baby tooth once you notice that it's loose. The first tip is easy, just eat some crunchy foods like apples. Biting into hard foods with those bottom front teeth will help wiggle those baby teeth right on out. The second tip is to wiggle your tooth before bed. After you wash your hands and brush your teeth, take your finger and push your tooth back towards your tongue and hold for 10 seconds. Then push your tooth towards your lip and hold for another 10 seconds and repeat that a couple of times. The last tip is if the tooth's not getting wiggly and is causing pain or discomfort, you're welcome to bring your child to our office for an evaluation. We may even help them get the tooth out. However, since this is a part of growing up, we really encourage your children to try to take their teeth out on their own. When you lose your first tooth, you have to put it under your pillow, and then the tooth fairy will come and take your tooth and then leave a coin for you, and the next morning you'll see it. Thank you so much for listening to our Tooth Talks Tuesday. I will catch you guys next week for more information on children's oral health.